Hi everyone, welcome to your 11th R tutorial video. It's been several months since I've made these videos. There's been some changes in my life and I haven't been able to find the time to produce these videos, but now feels like the right time to start producing them again. I've gotten some positive feedback from some of you on my videos and also I've got a few subscribers as well. And I'm really excited about that and I'm really, really gonna make an effort to produce many more of these videos in the future. Uh, Last time, on that last video that I produced, I discussed data frames, but I really only scratched the surface on what, on how to use data frames within R. So I'm going to produce a, another video uh, that's going to go into a little bit more detail on how to work with data frames in R. I'm going to use the same data set that I used in the previous video called MT cars. I'm going to uh, type empty cars into the source and send it to the console so we can get an idea on what empty cars looks like. Empty cars. Uh, whoops, looks like I typed it wrong. Empty cars. There it is. So I'm going to go down into the console and going to expand it. And here we can see what the empty cars data set looks like. Uh, it's several car models and some uh, information on those car models. Now, if we might encounter a situation where we don't want to look at the entire data set, we might only want to look at a tiny portion of it um, based on, um, there's a lot of different reasons why we would do that. But um, let's talk about some ways to extract information from a data set only that it, and extract only that information we want and exclude the information that we do not. Let's say we only wanted to look at um, the first row of that data set. How would you do that? Well, I'm going to I'm going to shrink down the empty cars data set. And in R, there's notation uh, to do that. The notation is a little bit weird if you haven't seen it before and you're a little bit new to R. However, once you get used to that notation and start using it more frequently, you'll really appreciate how compact that notation is and how powerful that notation is as well. So, uh, before I actually write the notation, there is a typical convention that you should be aware of. When you have data in rows and columns, it's typically customary to have two arguments to refer to those entries and for the first argument to refer to the row, and for the second argument to refer to the column. So if you have two entries to access data in rows and columns, first, uh, first entry is row, second entry is column, that's almost always what's used across the board in any kind of statistical analysis software. So let's say I wanted to access the first row of data uh, and, the second, uh, and the second column. To do that in R, it's MT cars, and I'm going to use brackets. I want the first row, so my first entry is going to be 1, first row, second column, next entry is going to be 2. I'm going to send it to the console and see what I get, and I get 6. Let's check that 6 is the number that uh, I should have gotten. I'm going to go back to the console, I'm going to expand it, and you can see row 1, column 6, is that uh, CYL uh, column, and you can see that it's 6 for on row number 1. So, I'm going to shrink this back down. Uh, that's how you refer to an individual entry in a data frame like that. Let's say we wanted to refer, return the first row, but we wanted all the columns of that data. There's a uh, simple way to do that in R as well. MT cars, left bracket, one comma and this notation might look a little bit weird it almost might look like something's missing if if you're not familiar with the way r works i'm just going to leave that second entry blank and when you leave that second entry blank r defaults to pulling everything so it might be even be a little bit counterintuitive you leave something blank and you pull in everything but once you get used to using r it, it becomes very natural. You just leave that blank, 
bar is going to pull everything. So let's send this to the console and see what we get. Empty cars, and we can see we did get that first row, and we got all the uh, all the variables associated with that first row. Uh, I'm not going to expand the console to check. I'll leave that to you to check. Um, but for right now, just go ahead and take my word for it that uh, that's the first entry and all the data associated with that first entry. Uh, I'm going to leave this video short uh, just to kind of give you uh, a quick intro. Uh, in the third uh, in the third video, I'm going to go into a little bit more advanced stuff about how to slice up data like uh, slice up data like this. Uh, but I'm just going to keep this one short and sweet. Um, and I'll go into a little bit more detail later. I hope to see you guys next time.